Hey there, my YouTube friends. It's me, DJ h 2 o and I am about to build. Yeah, um, you seen my uh, video on the DJ podium. Well, I'm going to show you what it takes to build that podium. Uh, and what it's going to take, I'm going to show you right quick what the materials are. A two foot by four foot sheet of plywood half inch you'll need three of them have one two three and as you can see they're fairly light so just like that you're gonna need one three-quarter inch two foot by four foot sheet of plywood. You're going to need two one, one inch by five inch by, I got these six feet. You can get eight feet, but I got six feet because I'm going to need 196 inches. So, or I'm going to need 90, 101 inches. So, um, by two, you're going to use the rest for something else. And that's how we're going to build our DJ podium. So, um, stick around and we'll be right back. Well, as you notice, I got one two foot by four foot piece of plywood, one half inch. I'm going to cut this to the size that I want for my DJ controller. I have the DDJ 1000, so I'm going to keep this at two foot, but I'm going to make this 20 or 44 inches. So let's mark 44 inches. Let's make it quarters. Let's make it forty five and a half inches. You know why? I just decided to change that. And why did I do that? Well, forty four. And my one inch is actually three quarters of an inch. It's not actually one inch. It's three quarters of an inch thick. So I'm going to add three quarters of an inch over there, three quarters of an inch over here, which is an inch and a half. So I'm going to take 44 inches plus one and a half inches gives me 45 and a half inches. So that's where I'm going to make, I'm going to have 44 inches of space there. You could use this whole 40, 48 inches, you know, for your DJ controller. Um, but I, I, I'm not, not wanting to do that. So, take my straight edge, which is my level. All righty. So we are going to gonna cut that in half. Well, not cut it in half, but we're gonna cut it up. <clears throat> cut it up.
Oh, that's not fit. That. Our base. We don't need this anymore. We're gonna set it aside. Now we have some more plywood we need that we need to rip up. The front and the sides of your podium piece. So we have the podium piece. Let me get my let me get my instructions right here. And I want that podium, the front, to be um, fourteen inches by thirty-one inches. So thirty-one inches tall, fourteen inches wide. So let's go with. So there's your podium piece. Yep. You're thinking it may look small, but I want you to think about this. You're going to put it on a three quarter inch plywood down there. And then you're going to put that base on top of here. So your controller is going to sit about waist high. So that's, that's for me. I'm five foot eight inches. So that's my height put my scraps because I will be using them later. Now, now we need the sides for that podium. You got another sheet of plywood and you're going to make it Ah, uh, let me look at mine. We know we're going to be 31 inches tall because our podium is 31 inches. So let's just cut 31 inches. Okay, so now we got 31 inches, right? But this is the front. This is going to be your side. I only want the sides 12 inches. So we got 31 inches. Now we need 12 inches. Well, 12 and 12 is 24. And how big is this thing? It's 24. So let's just rip it down the middle. They are going to be a hair off by way, like one eighth of an inch. You see that? You're, you're, you're an eighth of an inch. Why? Because that blade took an eighth of an inch off. But it won't matter too much when you set it on your podium. Now, I had thought about this. Thought long and hard. What if you put hinges so that you could close it? And then you could take your podium and set it down. And then maybe 
come in later, put your shelves in. That's a possibility. You could do that. Um, you have room right here on the side to place a board where when you open this up, it goes like that. And so let me turn it this way. And then this one would have two hinges here and you could open up this way. Totally up to you how you want to do it. I, I, I kind of thought about this and, and you, your decision. Um, it's not that big of a deal for me to put in my truck. Like that. And then I'm going to put two shelves in here. Actually, I'm going to go here and here. Okay. So there's our podium. And those are your three half inch plywood. So you got one you cut in half, 31 inches. You got one you cut to 14 inches. So one, two, three. And the top. Now, your base. Your base is going to be a three quarter inch piece of plywood. Um, the three quarter inch piece of plywood is sturdier. It's thicker. So when you're resting your your controller and your podium on there and anything else that you're building this is a little bit more stable it's not going to twist and bend half inch is fine it's lighter but i want a solid base so we're uh, we're going to keep it at 24 inches wide so we just need to rip it down So, all my pieces, the base, the podium, And space for your DJ controller. Now, we're going to need this. Why? Because we need some measurements. That's what the one by twos are for. Or the one by two, one by fives. So they're going to go here. Like that. Let's get rid of our table saw. Put the blade down. Need our special tool. The miter saw. Again, you can use a hand saw, circular saw. I like my miter saw. So, we're going to make an end for this back piece. 45 and a half inches long. Correct? We're going to mark. I, I want to look at this. So I know Front, 
BJ so I know which side is which. So this will actually be this way. All right. And we need a piece 45 inches long. I was about to ask you, have you seen a square? This is a square. It's easy. If you never used one, <laughs> set it on there. Catch up your lines. Score you a line. It's square now. That's why they call it a square. Remember I said I was going to have extra. That became extra. So look. There it is. That's the front. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that ugly piece on the inside. And go like that. Outside. So we're going to call this, since we're looking at it, this is the front. This is the right. This is the left. If we go front. This is outside. So that's that. Now we need some more measurements. My two eight inch side pieces. Okay, now we're back to our podium again, right? Got the front piece. And you got your back piece, right? Let's set this down. Level plane surface. Now, you need this space back here and here. And there you go, you got your box. With the 28 inch opening and my DDJ 1000 is 28 inches wide. That's just the controller. So I know that the controller has full open space inside my flight case. My flight case will sit in here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that.
And like I said, you're going to have extra. All this, all this, is all that I have left. This actually is going to be a shelf. It's going to go inside here, my podium. I'm going to use this for a shelf. So basically, this is all that's left. And for less than $150, you can build your own flight DJ podium. Now I'm going to put some feet on the bottom of this. I'm going to put this together, but uh, we'll definitely see that at another time. Till then, be well, be safe, and I'll show you some more projects when I get done.